my current role in the LTC project is an apprentice commercial assistant or an apprentice QS, where my main roles are to look after subcontractors and their monthly payments. My current role for LTC, Lower Thames Crossing, is a section engineer, uh, delivering archaeological trial trenching package of works. Me, I'd always wanted to go down the degree apprenticeship route because for me it was the best of both worlds. Civil engineering and construction was always an interest of mine. Um, upon researching, looking online and talking to some other people, um, I gathered up some information about these apprenticeship programmes at higher level degrees. Um, applied for it. Uh, interview went really well and here I am. Not only am I learning on the job from my the experts and colleagues around me but I'm also gaining my degree on the side. Specifically with several engineering I think it is a good to get the theory aspect and actually on site. 70% is learning on the job where you're doing day-to-day -day work and meetings with your colleagues. 20% is learning from others where you're gaining feedback or in new webinars with new networks and 10% is formal training, whether you're in webinars, workshops or courses. I think it's one of the subjects that really um, benefits from, from learning whilst pretty much working on a project. Although I was always interested in the construction in industry, I was never certain on a role. A few of my family members are engineers, uh, mechanical and civil, um, so it always been a sort of interest of mine. Initially, I was drawn to the design and architecture side of construction as I studied graphics and product design in school. I always actually wanted to go into sort of the IT uh, sector. Uh, upon reflection of that, decided that civils would probably be the best suited for me. And yeah, that's what I chose. In year 12, I was lucky enough to gain a week's worth of experience where I shadowed a project manager for two days, an architect for two days, and a quantity surveyor for a day. For me, this is a massive eye-opener. It's a confirmed to me that quantity surveying was the role that I should pursue. I would definitely recommend apprenticeships for the younger generation. It's a great chance to learn and earn, um, improve your skills and knowledge of what you've chosen. I've learned so much in such a short space of time whilst thoroughly enjoying it. And you get great career prospects and opportunities within the industry you've chosen. I found it very rewarding learning many new skills and completing difficult activities alongside meeting so many people across the business. You can actually be more appealing to employers. They give you the vital first-hand experience that a university does not necessarily give you. I think they're just a really uh, great opportunity to develop your skills, knowledge and obviously while earning money. I found working with Balfour Beatty on the Lower Thames Crossing project extremely interesting as it is such a large project that requires so many different people to complete it. Uh, it's a great chance uh, to develop your skills knowledge. It's definitely opened up my eyes how much work actually goes into these projects. Lower Thames Crossing was a great opportunity for me to get this understanding for the first time. My biggest learning curve has been working from home due to the pandemic and only going to the office once a week. You definitely have to plan your time very well. I've had lots of questions to ask and many things to learn. Maintaining sort of focus and drive towards completing your university work and working. If I was to summarise my apprenticeship experience in three words, it would be rewarding, interesting and fulfilling. Motivating, challenging and progressive. My advice to anyone considering to apply for an apprenticeship would be to apply to a role that appeals to you. A lot of people think negatively, long hours, low pay, um, not much progression while you're in that role. Um, I don't see any of that present, to be honest. I would also recommend gaining any work experience that you can, as for me this is also such an eye-opener and helped me secure the role that I'm in today. It's a great chance for you to broaden your skills and your knowledge, um, networking and working with all sorts of different people. Not only am I gaining a degree, like them, but I'm also working full-time, earning, gaining vital first-hand experience and will end up with no debt. Definitely people can be envious of that and one of the main benefits obviously is you're not getting that debt at the end and you're getting paid throughout your program. I'm extremely happy that I've gone down the apprenticeship route as it's given me the best start to my career and I would definitely recommend it to anyone thinking of applying to an apprenticeship. You get to learn the theory and the technical sort of side of things at university and you can then apply that to your work and your job. Um, seeing both aspects definitely broadens your knowledge and skills within the given topic and yes, yeah, a great chance to learn and pick up things quickly. I think apprenticeships can help to build the future as apprentices will gain their degree and through experience will progress forward into a successful career. It enables us to develop desired skills at an early age. Uh, there's definitely a demand for engineers, especially within the civil engineering sector and getting those people in will bring new and innovative ideas to this project and future ones to come.